Hey guys, it's Benedict Times back again with another interesting video. Today I'm going to be talking about absurdism. People take for granted the fact that life is meaningless. They think that that's normal. We exist. And we don't know why we exist. We don't even know why we want to exist. We can't even give our own lives meaning. We don't know why the universe was created, why we are in it. But we also don't know why we want to be in it. We're just here. Wandering through life, pretending to know what is going on, doing a lot of stupid things that we cannot even justify, making it much harder to create meaning for ourselves. I mean, if life is meaningless, it will be up to us for us to make it meaningful, right? It will be up to us to actually create meaning but we can't even create meaning because we are making it harder for other people to be able to create meaning so they make it harder for us to create you know what i mean so life becomes meaningless we're just here doing the most nonsensical things things that no one can justify And that makes life really, really hard. Think about it. Because life is meaningless, wouldn't it be good for us to make it meaningful as a collective? Try to help one another. When you see someone suffering, you help that person if you can. You don't compete with other people. You don't flex on other people. No, there are a lot of people who have imaginary enemies because they flex a lot. Okay, I buy a BMW. And I drive around playing music very loud. Flexing on people. You know what I mean? Drifting, doing... How are people going to feel? And then I complain and say people are jealous. No, they're not jealous. I'm just being fucking annoying. This reminds me of this South Park episode about these guys that will drive our uh, motorcycles, right? Or motorbikes. They will make their motorbikes make this crazy noise that will be disturbing to other people. And when people complain, they feel like, oh, these people were just jealous. They thought that that was making them cool. No, like, you know, people can't sleep because of you. The truth is, life is meaningless. So people do whatever. Because what can they do? They were brought into this meaningless existence and they have no idea what to do so people flex people compete with people that are not competing with them which is really stupid people get jealous kill one another because they don't know how to process their emotions they don't really understand themselves. Why do I feel jealous? What do I do to make sure that I don't continue to feel jealous? Maybe I should focus more on my life. Instead of focusing on what happen, what's happening in other people's lives. I should just focus on my own life. The problem is... Nothing makes sense in this world. You see, that's the real problem. 
that is why there are people in this world who are not going to have children for philosophical reasons nothing makes sense the real problem is in that life itself is meaningless that will actually be a good idea that will actually be a good thing you know the fact that life is meaningless that will be a good thing because that will mean that we're not slaves we're not here to do something We're not here because we were created for a specific purpose. No, we can do anything, right? That would be a good thing because we don't want to be slaves. We don't want to worship any God. I mean, except for those who want to control other people using religion. It's usually people who are weak, you know, using morality to justify Hating other people who are not like them. It's being weak, really. Oh, God doesn't like it when people do this. God doesn't like it when people feel like this, when people think like this, when people go out and party, when people drink, when people have tattoos. No, you just hate people with tattoos and you want God to hate people with tattoos. You see the problem but the truth is there are no rules all right nature already made us aware of the things that we ain't supposed to do because if we do these things there's gonna be consequences for real I know that if I see a lion, I gotta hide or I gotta run the fuck away. I gotta move out of its way. I know that. I know that I shouldn't swim where there's crocodiles. I know that. I know that I shouldn't jump from a very tall building. No, I can break my leg. You know what I mean? Like there are laws of nature that I already know. If I break these laws, you know, there's going to be consequences. But other than that, there are no rules. Other than that, there are no rules. But we've imprisoned each other because of the rules that we've created. You know, we've imprisoned each other because of the rules that we've created. Oh, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't think like this. You shouldn't think like that. You shouldn't feel like this. You shouldn't feel like that. How do you know how I'm supposed to feel? How I'm supposed to think, how I'm supposed to be. How do you know? You only know how you're supposed to be. How you're supposed to feel, how you're supposed to think. You don't know how I'm supposed to think, how I'm supposed to feel, how I'm supposed to be. We're different. Stop telling yourself that human beings are the same and they should all be the same and they should all believe the same things we are so fucking different there are some people who are very conscious who will do things that you can never ever understand now way too conscious compared to you shouldn't be like ah this person must do what i'm doing blah 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 like nah man but this life is so meaningless and it sucks because we feel like we know how a person should be instead of just trying to do what we feel is right to actually make this world better for everyone who is in it but that should be our intention how do i make life better for each and every person that is here not how do i control other people how do I make people believe in my religion? How do I make people feel the way that I feel? How do we make life better for everyone who's in it? Because people are different. They're not interested in the same things. They do not feel the same way. So they cannot all love the same things. They cannot all believe in the same things. I was watching this other video from, um, I think, yeah, from Lawrence.
they were interviewing this guy. He's um he's a Muslim. And I thought this guy looks like any other Muslim that I've seen. It's like people who are like that are supposed to be Muslims, you know what I mean? I remember there's this other guy who helped me two weeks ago. I wanted money and I didn't want to, like, I didn't want, like, there was a long queue at the ATM, so I didn't want a queue. I wanted money. I approached this guy. I was like, yo, man, don't you have 200? I'll send it to you right now. I'm, I don't have time. I'm in a hurry. And he's like, of course, I'm going to help you. He's a Muslim. I knew he was a Muslim. <laughs> I started to talk to him about Islam because I knew, like, he just looked like a Muslim. I was like, people who are like that are Muslims. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> even the like the this Rastafarian guys, they all look, they all look the same. You can tell when you meet a Rastafarian guy that this is my. And I understand that they have dreadlocks, but still, you like, not everyone can be like. There are people with dreadlocks, but who are not Rastafarians. You know, you can tell. Okay, this is not a Rastafarian. Even rappers, man. Uh, I remember this other day. My friend introduced me to this other girl. And she's like, let me guess, you're a rapper, right? I was like, what? I asked him, yo, did you tell her that I'm a rapper? He was like, no, I didn't say anything. And I asked her, how do you know that I'm a rapper? She's like, well, you just look like a rapper. You see, we're different. So we cannot force everyone to be like us because we are different. So the fact that life is meaningless is actually a good thing because that will mean that we just live our lives the way that we want to live our lives. Not allowing other people to create rules for us. Not allowing other people to tell us what's right or wrong. Because they're just people, you know, it's just, it's just people that have been making up these rules because they're privileged enough to be able to make up these rules. It's not like that's what's universally true. Morality is subjective and if you want to look at things from the highest perspective, you realize that there is no morality, there is no right or wrong. You just have to understand people and how, how they've experienced life. Remember when I told you about the girl that took my money? One of the reasons why I did not do anything about it is because I tried to put myself in her shoes. I was like, what would I have done if I was her? This is a very important question. What would I have done if I was her? What does this even mean? It means I would have had to have experienced life the way that she has experienced it. I would have had to have a friend. I would have had to have like a level of consciousness, you know? See life the way that she sees life. I would have had to deal with the problems that she had dealt with. What would I have done? I would have done the same. When you think about it, there isn't anyone to blame because if you were them, you would have done the same things that they would have done. What is important is that we try to have deep conversations about what we think is going on so that the truth will prevail. That is why no one should be censored. You let people speak their truth so that the truth will prevail, right? So that we'll live lives that actually make sense. Lives that we can actually justify. Than to force people to live lives that we want them to live. As if we know what the meaning of this is. The truth is life has no meaning. It's not like after we were born. Someone came to us and told us what the meaning of life is. Yes, there have been people who have hijacked us when we were young. And indoctrinated us. That is true. But still. That doesn't mean that life itself has meaning. No, it's just 
what some people want. They know they want life to has me to have meaning, so they try to control other people. But it would be much better for people to, you know, try to allow other people to be themselves. You know, you allow a chicken to be a chicken. You allow a snake to be a snake. So you should also allow people to be people. You know, you shouldn't force everyone to be like you because you are not, you are not really like them. You're not experiencing reality from their perspective. And that's very important to acknowledge. So it will really be a good thing that life is actually meaningless because it will allow us to live our lives the way that we want to live our lives than, you know, to force other people to be like us. Because even if it was possible for us to actually create meaning, it will actually be impossible if we are being forced to be a certain way. Like, how do you create a meaningful life if you are a slave? Like, how? How do you create a meaningful life if you are a slave? If there's a person who's always telling you what to do, if there's a person who's always telling you what to think, if there's a person who's telling you you can't say this, you can't say that, if there's a person who's trying to censor you, it will become impossible for you to create a life that is actually meaningful because you are the one who actually has the power to create meaning in your life. But if that is being made impossible for you because there are some people who are very powerful and who make it impossible for some people to be themselves, then you won't even be able to create meaning for your life. You see? So it wasn't really a bad thing that life is meaningless. What's bad is that we try to control other people as if that's what would be meaningful. Life would be meaningful if everyone was a Muslim. No, everyone must believe in Allah. That's what will make life meaningful. Everyone must serve Allah because Allah is the way you see the problem Allah is the true God so everyone must believe in Allah or oh, Jehovah is the true God everyone must believe in Je you know what I mean that's that's where the problem is we, we try to control other people Everyone must be straight because I'm straight. God made a man and a woman. He didn't make gay people. He didn't do this. And, you know what I mean? That's when we start ruining things. You allow people to be who they are because you do not own this world. This is not your world. If you had people and they hate you back because they were hurt. Whose fault is it? You would have started it. And you will act like a victim because the whole world will agree with you. You know, because I've realized that people who get bullied a lot and end up doing something out of rage get blamed in the end. You know, they, we call them monsters instead of seeing the deepest truth is that well we might have turned them into monsters and that is very much possible to turn a person into a monster based on how we treat them life has no meaning man you allow people to be who they are whether you agree or disagree you just watch them be who they are let them play by their own rules let them live their own lives let them do things that make the most sense to them You can't be bullying other people because they are not like you. Because they do not think the way that you think. Because they do not feel the way that you feel. You're like, nah. 
you have to feel the way that I feel. You have to think the way that I think. Life is so meaningless. Am I a damn? That looks for the door, bad Pele. Ah, what are you doing? Eh? Ah, look to walk on at some while like I'm before the Christmas. Missing some of the Malam Lel, no, no, no. Check in at the body of water, lock of wind, so the song and bone, a lacca as well. Now check in at his own one, a lock of wind. Check in at the monu one, lock of wind, but in the tin viella. Hey guys, it's Benedict Times. I hope everyone is doing good in this crazy world, you know. It sucks that. We suck as humanity. Like, I don't have hope, you know. I don't think humans are going to be better. Like, I, I have zero hope in humanity. We, we just suck. <laughs> we can't change our own nature, you know. There are a lot of people who are very hopeful who think that we can change human nature. You can't change human nature. You can't. It's a society has been struggling to accept human nature for the longest time. Society has been struggling to accept human nature. We can't change human nature, but we also cannot accept human nature. When we see some people doing horrible things, we like to think that we are better than them. We like to think that, no, they're not like us. We like to think that there's something wrong with them. That is why they're doing these horrible things. We will never do these things that they're doing. What we don't understand is that we're just privileged. You see a person doing horrible things and you blame them. But if you really ask yourself, what would I have done in their shoes? You actually understand you would have done the exact same thing that they did. <laughs> I know a lot of people do not believe me when I say that there isn't anything in this world that you cannot do. All the horrible things that you've seen people doing, you can also do these horrible things. If life programs you to do these horrible things, the right things have to happen for you to actually do the horrible things. The right things have to happen. You see people doing crazy things and like, nah, I would never do. No, you're just lucky. This is you've never done anything like that. It's not because you're better than people that are doing these horrible things that you're condemning them for. No, you are just lucky. That is something that a lot of people do not understand. So they think, nah, I'm just, I'm just better, you know. There's hope for humanity because some people are good no the, 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 there isn't a person who is good there are just people who are lucky and people who are not lucky you do understand that there are some things that you have done in your life that could have landed you in prison you do understand that pause this video and think there are so many horrible things that you've done in your life that could have landed you in prison, but you were lucky. There are things that could have happened in your life that could have made you behave in a way that is horrible and you would have ended up in prison, but you were lucky. Those things did not happen. I know that there have been days where I was not feeling good and if people try to do something that I do not like... I, I would have, you know, reacted very negatively and that, you know, would have like maybe caused a fight to happen and, you know, a lot of bad things could have happened. You know what I mean? Like, we just like it. The truth is this. If you see a person doing something that is horrible, you must realize that 
if you have experienced life the same way that they've experienced life, you would have done the same thing. That's the truth. If you experience life the same way that they experienced life, you would have done the same thing. You know, if you were born where they were born, if you were raised the way that they were raised, if you had the kind of friends that they had, if you had the same problems that they had, if you felt the way that they feel, you would have done the same thing that they did. You understand? All these horrible things that we're afraid of, that people do, you are capable of doing the same things. Life can corner you, all right, and make you do horrible things. If you have watched the movie, The Butterfly Effect, you'd understand what I'm saying. You're not where you are today because you are so smart and you're better than other people and you are kind-hearted. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with how you have experienced life, how life programmed you. You're not better than um, Charles Manson. You're not, I mean, Charles Manson was actually better than most people. <laughs> I mean, in terms of like intelligence, he was very conscious. But yo, you're not better than Jeffrey Dahmer. You know? You're not better than whoever comes to mind when you think of evil people. You're not better than that person. Each and every person that is here is capable of doing horrible things. It's just that some people are lucky, some people are not lucky. That's what you must realize. Society doesn't want to accept the truth, but it is the truth. We don't want to accept human nature. We don't want to accept the fact that there will always be people who will have experienced life in a way that will bring out the worst in them. That is possible. There is, there will always be people who will experience life in a way that will bring out the best in them. You see? Like, we can never have a world where everyone is good, where everyone is happy, where there are no killers, where there are no rapists, where there are no suicide bombers, where there are no corrupt politicians, where there are not no fake pastors. We can never live in a world like that because we do not experience life the same way. And we do not feel the same about things. And we don't look the same, so people are not going to treat us the same. That's what you must understand. So all the horrible things that you see people doing they are doing these things because that's what humans do, you see? Even the good things that people do, they do these things because that's what humans do, you see? Humans give, that happens. Humans do help one another, that happens. But humans do kill one another, that also happens. Humans do take other people for granted that happens humans are selfish you know humans are going to take advantage of other people that happen you know what i mean all the horrible things that are happening are our bugs these are futures that's something that we've been struggling to accept for the longest time we want to tell ourselves that nah humans are good humans are kind you know if a human is not kind, it means that there's something wrong with them. Sometimes we tell ourselves that it's the devil that's making humans do horrible things. Humans were actually created to be good. No, 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 they weren't. That's like thinking that lions were created to be omnivores. I mean, hey, be, wait, wait, I'm, like omnivores are animals that eat uh, grass and, and meat, right? Herbivores are animals that only eat grass forgot but what i'm trying to say is that a lion cannot be an omnivore or herbivore you know we are exactly what life has programmed us to be we might try to force other people to be like us because we want to live in a world where we will be safe and we know that if these people are not like us we won't be safe you know because anything can happen. But the truth is, you know, some humans are violent because of how they've experienced life, because of how life programmed them. The truth is, 
you shouldn't be hopeful. You shouldn't think that things are going to change for the better in our society. Yes, they will give us technology that um, enables us to do a lot of things that we thought, you know, were impossible. That's going to happen. But that wouldn't mean that we would have improved as humanity. Like we would be better than we were. No, we'll still be evil and we'll use technology to do evil things. That's why when they created computers, some people created viruses, you know? Selfishness, right? That's why we have weapons. Selfishness. It's not like as, as a society, we only create, we use, you know, technology for the greater good or we only create technology that for, for good reasons. No, sometimes they create technology so that, you know, they will murder some people, you know? I'm pretty sure there are some people who have created AI that they're going to use as a weapon, you know? So, we're never going to be better than we are as people. We're always going to be selfish because human beings are selfish. Being selfish is human nature. It's not like the people are selfish because there's something wrong with them. No. They're selfish because it's human nature, you know? Humans are selfish. Sometimes they're not selfish, but sometimes they're selfish. Sometimes they're angry, sometimes they're not angry. Sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're not happy. It's human nature. That's something that we must understand. So people shouldn't be so hopeful, you know? Uh, people are going to change. Hope is what's making people suffer. You become very hopeful. Like, nah, society is going to change, you know. We'll be able to do better. Blah, blah, blah. No, we, we, we won't be able to do better. You'll always, you know, be disappointed. If you're very hopeful, you'll always be disappointed. If you have faith in humanity, humans will disappoint you. You see, a lot of people who have good intentions are people who, you know, have never, like, dealt with a lot of challenges in life. So they believe that, nah, man, uh, you know, people are good, you know. Uh, well, those that are not good, you know, there's just something wrong with them. They don't realize that if they've experienced life the way that those people experience life, they will just be like those people. We like to judge as if we know how humans are supposed to be. You have to understand that morality is a lie. <laughs> Nature doesn't care about morality at all. It doesn't. Nature has created laws. Laws that we know, you know, we must obey. Because if we don't obey these laws, then we're going to face the consequences. We know that if we see a lion, we got to run the fuck away. If we don't run the fuck away, then, well, chances are we're going to get killed. We know that we shouldn't jump from a tall building. You know, we're going to break some few bones if we do that. You know, what goes up comes down. You cannot just fly. We know, you know what I mean? Like, there are things that we already know. And that's, I would say, these laws are nature's morality. You know, the universal laws are nature's morality. That's it. Other than that, we do whatever we do. Or whatever we can do. If you break universal laws, you're going to face the consequences Nature will have a way of punishing you. But if you don't break these laws, if you do what you, you are programmed to do as a human, you're not going to have problems. Nature is not going to be like, oh, yeah, you, you've, killed, you've killed this person, so you must be punished. No, it doesn't give it them. But if you jump from a very tall building, of course, from a very tall building, of course you're going to, you know, break some few bones 
So that's the thing. That's what we must realize. You know, there are no, there is no morality here. You know, people believe in morality because they don't want to be hurt. They don't realize that no, actually, they are in a concrete jungle. You know, anything goes. They are in a concrete jungle. People are angry. People are fucked up. People are hurt. People have been denied their rights. You know, there are a lot of people who are not allowed to be themselves. And not because they are bad people or anything like that, but because we don't really understand them. You know, so some of these people are really angry, so they end up doing horrible things because they're really angry. There are some people that we bully. Bullying other people is part of human nature you know you, you you can't get rid of bullying human beings will always bully other human beings if you are so different from other humans they're gonna bully you you know it's part of human nature you can't get rid of bullying and it's also part of human nature to become hurt when you are getting bullied to become angry when you're getting bullied and to retaliate you know some People who get bullied retaliate. It's part of human nature. You can't escape that. You know, hurt people hurt more people. We're unable to escape that. Unless you want to fight against your own nature. I do know that there are some people who are afraid, or not who are afraid, who are not afraid to fight against their own nature. If you try to do the right thing no matter what, you're fighting against your own nature. You can be in a situation where you know that, hey, I want to do something that's fucked up right now. But I will still choose to do something that I know is right in this situation. Someone can provoke you and like, you know what, I can fuck this person up, but you know what, let me just, let me do what I think is right in this situation. You might feel like, oh, I want to have kids. But then you look at what's going on in the world and be like, you know what? This world does not deserve my children. It's too fucked up. Why in the world would I bring a child here? Like, something is obviously wrong. I'm not going to bring a child here so that they will be slaves, you know? There's, there's nothing beautiful about that. There's nothing meaningful about that. It's just, like, you just got to think for yourself and realize that, nah, it's, 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 it's just not good. You know, there's no justifying that. We've got to make this world a better place if we want to bring children here. If the world is fucked up, then you can't be bringing children here. If you bring them here, it's your fault when they suffer. You can't even blame anyone. You have to blame yourself. You can't even blame them. Because a lot of parents have a tendency of like blaming their children when things are not working out. Like, no, I told you, you know, I told you to go to school. Well, maybe they don't like school. I mean, why should they go to school if they don't like school? Why can't there be other options? You got to understand something about life itself. Like life is more like, uh, it's more like a business, you know? Life is more like a business. Everyone is trying to make money, right? Every, every person that you know in this world is trying to make money. Those who came up with the idea of school, they were thinking of making money. <laughs> Listen, they didn't come up with the idea of school because they wanted people to become educated so that they'll be better people in the future. They came up with the idea of school because they wanted to train people who will end up working for them because they realized that some people were too dumb to understand them. Like, okay, you know what, let's teach them how to, let's, let's, let's teach them our language. Let's teach them mathematics. So that they'll know how to calculate so that you know they will be very useful to us it had nothing to do with wanting 
humanity to be better it had everything to do with business it had everything to do with enslaving other people that's the truth life itself is a business all right each and every person is business minded each and every person that you know is business minded girls are business minded they don't like love broke guys no they want to f- see what you have first you approach a girl and you have nothing she's probably not even going to look at you twice if you are very good looking she will be like okay you know what there's something that i can use these guys for you know i mean some of my friends are going to desire these guys so you know what i mean that's that's a good thing that's business everyone is business minded when people want to help other people they be thinking business how can i gain from helping this person you see that's what you must realize the problem is that you don't want to accept that humanity is the way that it is you want to be very optimistic like oh we can change no you know the problem is that um we went taught the right things only if we can teach philosophy classes i mean yeah that will help people you know become critical thinkers but at the end of the day we are animals and we know exactly what we want we cannot change our own nature just like you can't choose who to be attracted to i mean if they bring beyonce and put her here and then put oprah here all the guys are going to be choosing beyonce because beyonce is more attractive than oprah that's how it works we can't beat our own nature unless you decide that okay i'm attracted to beyonce but i'm still going to choose oprah because you know i want to rebel against my against nature and then yeah you can rebel against nature like yeah i'm attracted to beyonce but i'm gonna choose oprah that then that's it is good to rebel against nature because that's when you you know free yourself like that's when you become free you rebel against nature like okay i'm supposed to not be feeling good right now but fuck it you know I'm supposed to be angry right now but fuck it like I'm I'm not going to be angry let me let me rebel let me not be this fucking animal let me you know what I mean you fight against your own nature and it's not going to be easy you know it's not like if you say if you try to rebel it will just be easy like that like you, you know what I mean like no it's going to be a lot of work but it it is it is it is better to do that most people who stand for the truth are rebelling against nature they realize what the truth is An internalist is rebelling against nature. They know beyond and reasonable that that we were programmed to reproduce. You know, there's a reason why we feel horny sometimes. There's the reason why, when we see attractive people, we desire to sleep with them. You know what I mean? But you can say, you know, I don't want to play this game because it's a stupid game. I can see that there are a lot of people. who are suffering because of this stupid game that we are playing so fuck it i'm rebelling is it that is really really important because we are in this evil realm where we we we've been programmed to want to do evil things to do harmful things and to gain something from doing these harmful things you see you must realize that You do realize that to really enjoy this life you got to be doing harmful things. Right? If you really going to stand for the truth, you're not really going to enjoy this life. If you really really going to stand for the truth. Because we have been programmed to be evil. This world is not good. Forget everything that you've been told. The world is evil. A lot of people will lie to themselves because they don't want to believe that they don't want to acknowledge the truth but the, the world itself is evil that's why we've been programmed to be evil you see and yeah some people do not even see when they're being evil i have spoken to people who don't understand veganism they'll just say well it's just the cycle of life but sometimes 
when they see things that are truly horrible happening, they just go like, hey, but, nah, man. I've seen so many videos on, 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 on TikTok where animals were killing other animals brutally. And people were like, hey, I know it's the cycle of life, but damn, you know? Because some of them are conscious enough to see the truth. See, once you start seeing the truth, you start rebelling against nature. I mean, that's if you care. Because there are some people who will well, acknowledge the truth and be like, Hey, what can I do, man? What can I do? But there are some people who will be like, you know, I don't want to be part of this. This, this, is, this is insanity. This is madness. I don't, I don't want to do things that are harmful to, to other beings. I do understand that that's how I've been programmed, but nah, man, no, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, contribute in a way that's gonna make other beings suffer. No way. What we must realize is that. The world itself is evil. We have been programmed to be evil. So it's in our nature to be evil. People that are doing horrible things are not doing horrible things because a demon has entered them and it's making them do horrible things. No, they're doing horrible things because humans do horrible things. You see? We do horrible things because some humans are ignorant. Some humans are crazy. What you must also realize is that anyone can be crazy. If you're not crazy, you like it, but anyone can be crazy. You know, like, you, that's what I'm saying. You cannot judge, no matter what. Don't judge other people. Just realize that everyone is you. And what I mean is that you could do the fucked up things that they do. That's what I mean when I say everyone is you. You, there's, you not doing these horrible things has nothing to do with you um, having like a strong will uh, being, by being a god or whatever like no it has to do with how you have experienced life no human beings are programmable if they program AI to attack people other AI programs wouldn't like be right to judge that AI that was programmed to attack people because that's that's what it was programmed to do. If they were programmed to attack people, they'll do the same. You see, we are programmable as as a person. I remember telling you about this movie, Seven Deadly Sins. Where this guy, this psycho, was killing people. And his last murder, his last sin, was him killing one of the detective's wife. What he wanted to prove was that anyone can kill. He put her head inside a box and that detective... Well, opened the box and saw the head and sh I think he shot the guy, if I remember correctly. Like, hey, life can corner you and put you in a situation where you can do something horrible and even limit your thinking. Sometimes you do things without thinking. That's why I was saying that you can never plan crazy. No, things can happen so fast. You don't, you don't even understand what got into you. You're walking in the street. And someone look at you funny, like, why do you look at me like that? Be like, ah, Putsek, Putsek. Be like, what? Why, why do you say Putsek? Do you know me? Be like, hey, when I Putsek, when blah, 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 and then push you. And then you punch that person, and then you start fighting with them, and then pick a stone and hit them in the head. They die. That can happen. <laughs> you know what I'd be like? And then they arrest you for manslaughter. But that's the thing. You know, that's the thing. 
any person can do what other people have done. Things that are good and things that are bad. There are people who are, you know, evil, but who are good now. They are good because their lives changed. Now, there are people who used to be killers in the past, but, you know, things changed for them and they became good. For another person just, you know, bec like become famous and start making money. Like, you know what, I'm no longer going to be a killer. I'm no longer going to be a drug dealer. You know, now I don't have to kill people, so I'm good. And then they change their lives, you see. So stop thinking that you're better than, you know, people who have done horrible things in this world. You're just like them. You are them, actually. You've just not experienced life the way that they've experienced life. That's what you must realize. If you have experienced life differently, you will be a different person you wouldn't know most of the things that you know now you know things that you do not know now and the things that you would know will actually make you behave differently see everything counts our experiences do count a lot actually because we come into this world not knowing what life is so what life shows us is going to be it detect how it, 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 it's going to like make us behave a certain way. You see? It has to do with what life shows us. So if life shows you that, hey, unless you do, you still, you know, you're going to sleep hungry. No, you might become a thief. No, unless you rob people, you're going to have nothing in life. And you find that you have desires because you're a human and you have desires as a human. Some people were shown something different. Like, no, if you ask for help, people are going to help you. And you find that they help them, you see? Because we're different. It's not like people are treating us the same. I might ask for help from someone and they don't help me, but if another person asks for help from them, they help them. You can approach a stranger and ask for five dollars and they don't give you. And another person approach that same person and ask for five dollars and they give them. It's, you know, we are not being treated the same by life. So the person that's not that didn't get the five dollars is gonna see life differently from the person that got the five dollars, is it? The person that got the five dollars is gonna be like, yeah, well people do help one another and the person that didn't get the five dollars is gonna be like, Well they don't. So maybe I have to just uh get it by force. Is it? The truth is, no matter how hard we try, you know, we, we, we are never going to build a world that's better than this. This is it. This is us at our best. We're never building a world that is better than this. Because we've never been able to do that. Some people might think, well, in the past people used to kill one another because people are still like that. You have to understand that what's protecting us is this laws that we have created that are not even like real laws you know our morality but that's it human beings have not changed they're just afraid to do horrible things because they're afraid of the consequences that's it if they said that once every year people are allowed to do whatever the fuck they want and they will never get arrested and they will never face the consequences of what they do. You think this world will be the way that it is? 
that day they say on the 31st of every month people are allowed to do whatever the fuck they want do you think i'll be here recording a video or i'll know that hey, anything can happen they said no for 24 hours from 12 until 12 p.m from 12 on the date until 12 p.m the 31st don't know if i put that right but yeah people must kill one another if they want to kill one another they must steal if they want to steal they must rape if they want to rape and there's never gonna they're gonna have they're not gonna do the consequences you know you think the world will be the way that it is right now like i'll be free to just record or there will be violence everywhere because people are fucked up people are more fucked up than you think that is why and this is something that's very important to understand that is why if you lose your wallet right if you lose your wallet Chances are you're never getting it back. Chances are the first person to see that wallet is going to take it. But most people do not steal. So that person is just going to take your wallet is going to convince themselves that they didn't steal your wallet, but they actually did. You see, the difference is that they're afraid of... Listen, if you find someone's wallet, you... You will say that you did not steal it, so you're not going to get arrested. Then it's not, there's not going to be consequences. But if you go and steal, you know, that's a different story. So people are afraid of consequences. They know that if they go and steal, there's going to be real consequences. But if they just pick something from the floor, you know, there's not going to be real consequences. And that's why. You know, people are afraid of consequences. No. Human beings are selfish. They will take something from... Listen, if we, we if there were some humans with superpowers that were able to be invisible and just take whatever they want, they will use that superpower to still... They wouldn't care. Because they know that there will not be consequences. No one will know what they did. But we do not know to want to accept that truth. We want to tell ourselves that no, some humans are just evil and we are not evil. No, they've just experienced life in a way that made them evil. And you just experienced life in a way that made you good, but you're not better than them. You were just like you, and that's the only difference. Thank you, guys.